Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to disable the Steam input. So go to Steam, make a right click in the game, select properties, go to the controller tab, and then over here you can select disable Steam input, and then relaunch the game and then check. If that does not work, we can go to Steam, settings, controller tab, you can select try this enable steam input for generic controllers if this is off you can turn it on and then relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to go to device manager make a right click start menu make a right click on the start menu go to yeah. device manager and expand human interface devices over here if you find any uh, key crone keyboard or mouse or maybe razor huntsman keyboard or mouse you can make a right click and disable the device I don't have it so you can disable it once you're done playing the game enable it disconnect external keyboard and mouse if you have any kind of like any external keyboard and mouse which you're not using disconnect it if you have key crown razor huntsman keyboard you, you can disconnect it disconnect its dongle too from the computer disconnect any kind of dongle or USB adapter connected to the computer disconnect razor Tartarus unplug flight simming hardware and like if you have external devices like uh, Hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter, USB flash drive, thumb drive, disconnect additional, sometimes we have extra controller connected to the computer, disconnect it, disconnect arcade stick, disconnect multiple monitor. If you have any virtual controller like VJoy, VJoy, etc. running, you can disable it or you can uninstall it. Any kind of virtual joystick application install, disable it or uninstall it and then relaunch the game. Next step is to PlayStation controller user. You can skip this step. Uh, you can use the wired connection. Ignore this. Use the wired connection. You can connect your controller using the USB cable to the computer and then check. Do the same thing with Xbox controller. If you have Xbox, PlayStation, any controller, uh, you can go for wired connection. Uh, next step is to select the controller which you want to use. Restart Steam and then start the game. Now for this, you can type in USB game controllers over here and then Click on USB game controllers. Over here, you will see, uh, go to advanced option. Now over here, you can select the control which you want to use. If you want to use Xbox One, you can select Xbox controller. If you want to use DualSense, you can select DualSense and then click on OK. Select the controller which you want to use and then relaunch the game and then check. Next step is to PlayStation controller user. You can use DS4 Windows. You can search in Google. If you have this application installed, you can launch it, configure your controller, and then check it. Or if you don't have it, install it. The next step is to update controller using PlayStation or Xbox accessories app. Now for this, if you have Xbox controller, open Xbox uh, Microsoft Store. In the search box, type in Xbox accessories app over here, and then click on Xbox accessories app. And if not installed, you can install this. Once you install it, you can launch it. And then you have to connect your controller using the USB cable. It has to be a wired connection. Connect your controller using the cable. Once you connect it, you will see your controller and then you will see more option. Click on these three dots, update, continue and let the update complete. Once the update is complete, now you can relaunch the game and then check. If you have PlayStation controller, in that case, you can use PlayStation accessories app. You can search in Google, go to the official website go to the PlayStation official website and you can download for Windows and then you can run this exe file. Run it, install it. In my case, the app is already installed so you can launch PlayStation Accessories app. And once you launch it, uh, you can connect your controller over here. Connected, you, if you see update option, in my case, it's already up to date. So if it, in my, uh, if you see update option, you can update your controller and then relaunch the game. The next step is to launch Steam in big picture mode. Now, so at the uh, go to Steam at the top right here, you can see big picture mode icon. Click over here. Once the Steam is in big picture mode, now you can launch the game from here and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.